the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or oh, the rampart we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red galette the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does Spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone and welcome to South University's 2020 commencement ceremony. It is truly a pleasure to celebrate this momentous occasion with all of you. While much has changed in the world over the past few months, your commitment to your education and future endeavors is still being celebrated, which I know all of us and all of you are excited about. I imagine that all of you are feeling a sense of relief, pride, excitement, or maybe even a bit of sadness as you receive your degree today. This is very normal and probably shared by many of those around you. I am certain that many of you, you have family and friends joining you watching today, along with many faculty and staff at South University. These people were instrumental in supporting and encouraging you throughout your journey to this moment. You probably have already thanked all of these people recently or in the past, but it would not hurt to thank them one more time. If I could impart a little wisdom on all of you, it would be to never miss a moment in your life to show someone how much you appreciate them. It will only take a second to complete, but could have a lasting lifetime impact. 2020 South University graduates, I am proud of all of you and what you have accomplished here today. I wish you nothing but continued success throughout your lives and hope you continue to excel in your future jobs, community, and with your families. There is a need for change across our world today in many areas. My challenge to all of you is to go out and find your passion and purpose. Once you have done that, go out and be part of the positive solution to impact the necessary changes needed across the world. Again, graduates, I congratulate all of you and wish you nothing but the best in your future endeavors. And now I would like to introduce to you the Alumni Achievement Award winner for 2020. For 120 years, South University has taken pride in providing the highest standards of academics and in helping shape the character of our students. Our philosophy of lifelong learning encompasses this continual personal growth of students by emphasizing the importance of community involvement and volunteerism. South University's online programs as a tradition of selecting outstanding individuals to receive the most important honor, the Alumni Achievement Award. Throughout their careers, the award recipients have contributed significantly to their companies and communities while upholding the highest standards and values in everything that they do. As such, they represent the best of our alumni body. They are exemplary role models and inspire all those who aspire to have an impact on both their professions and society. A committee of students, alumni, faculty, and staff have selected this year's Alumni Achievement Award recipients. The selection committee evaluated the nominees' professional accomplishments, dedication to their profession, volunteerism, and service to South University. At this time, I am pleased to present the 2020 Alumni Achievement Award to Terrence Malone. Greetings. My name is Terrence Malone, and it is an honor to partake in this momentous occasion with you. I would like to thank God, South University's administration, faculty and staff, students, our graduates, and fellow alumni for the award, the opportunity to give back, and hopefully to inspire. 
I am a native of Albany, Georgia, and a fall 2008 graduate of Albany State University, where I received my undergraduate degree. Three weeks following graduation, I was off to San Antonio, Texas to join the world's mightiest air power, the United States Air Force. While serving as a radiology technologist, I immediately knew that healthcare was where I wanted to be long-term. While completing the final requirements of my diagnostic imaging degree, I began researching graduate public administration programs and after great reviews from colleagues, reading about how the program worked well with non-traditional students and veterans and speaking to the awesome admissions team, I am happy and proud that I chose South University. After graduating in the spring of 2012, I paired the great education that I received from South University's MPA program with the leadership and healthcare experience from the Air Force and transition to the private sector of healthcare. I cherished every moment of providing direct patient care, but longed to become just as savvy on the business and operations that made great patient care possible. I took interest in revenue cycle and worked my way up through the ranks over the years. I am currently a patient access director for one of the largest health systems in the state of Georgia. In 2019, I became the president of the Georgia Access Management Association, a nonprofit organization and Georgia affiliate of the National Association of Healthcare Access Management. Getting to this point in my career took a lot of work. I am very confident that each of you graduates have made many sacrifices and put in the work throughout the duration of your respective degree programs. I come to tell you that the real work starts now. I was fortunate enough to be able to ask questions and gain insight and network and, and just talk to my classmates that were already established and further along in their careers while they were students. It gave me perspective and insight as I prepared to venture into a completely new post-military journey that was both frightening and exciting. However, I was equipped with the skills to research, write, speak, and articulate at a higher level that made me a lot more competitive and marketable to pursue my dreams as a lifelong learner and a leader in any field of human endeavor that I chose. I felt that as I was blessed with the opportunity to be educated from the labors of those who came before me, the accomplishment was not mine alone to enjoy. The knowledge and tools that I had acquired were mine to share with my family, colleagues, and my community. I began by volunteering with the American Red Cross, Boys and Girls Club of America, shelters for women who had suffered domestic violence, the American Legion, and provided resume and job interview preparatory sessions free of charge. As an active member of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated and a life member of Kappa Kappa Psi National Honorary Band Fraternity, I not only provide time and financial contributions to worthy causes, but also to the continuation of bands and musical education. So in closing, I would like to leave the graduating class three charges. I charge you all to place service at the top of your list of new priorities as present or future professionals in your career, or just as good human beings. As new graduates, I charge you to remain as diligent as you were to reach the milestone that you're here celebrating today. As I stated previously, the work starts now. Put your education to use and remain hungry to learn, for your education and your degree program was only the prerequisite for the greatness that is to come. In a world that is ever-changing, we must remain agile to remain competitive. My final charge to you is to trust the process and never quit. We all have different paths in our lives and each of you have completely different reasons that placed you into your virtual seats here at this graduation. I urge you to be encouraged and stay the course and continue the journey that your higher power has called you to embark upon. Thank you for the recognition and thank you for your time. Until next time, be safe. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you, President Gavlik, and congratulations again to our Alumni Achievement Award winner. At this time, I would like to introduce this year's commencement speaker, Dr. Stephen Yoho. 
Dr. Yoho was appointed Chancellor and Chief Executive Officer in August of 2019. Chancellor Yoho has served as Vice Chancellor for Strategy and Administration, Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, and Dean for the College of Business. Prior to joining South University in 2003, Chancellor Yoho spent 15 years in private university leadership roles. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Stephen Yoho. What an extraordinary year the class of 2020 is living through. I want to begin by congratulating you on completing your South University degree program. Class of 2020, you will soon become part of the greater South University family, an affiliation that will bring you value throughout your lifetime. During your educational journey, you must have pictured this moment many times in your mind. Okay, not exactly this virtual moment. None of us could have anticipated virtual commencement. But years from now, and maybe even decades from now, you will remember this day, one of a handful of days, a milestone as your college graduation day. I would like to share two thoughts for your consideration on your important day. First, make overcoming adversity your advantage. Life in 2020 has brought you circumstances that you have overcome. In the years ahead, life will put other crises in your path. Because of your experiences this year, you should never view your challenges as a disadvantage. Instead, you are well prepared to handle life's obstacles. So make overcoming adversity your advantage. Never let the fear of striking out get in your way. Do you know who said that? It was Babe Ruth. In 1923, Ruth broke the record for the most home runs in a season. Ruth broke another record that year that most people do not know about. In that same year, he set the record for home runs. Ruth struck out more times than any other player in Major League Baseball. Ruth was not afraid to strike out. It was his fearlessness that contributed to his remarkable career. Like Babe Ruth, never let the fear of striking out get in your way. Make overcoming adversity your advantage. Second, aspire to make a difference. In our text and snap world, just because you are doing a lot doesn't mean that you are getting a lot done. Don't confuse activity with progress. Professionally build a resume that tells who you want to be, not what you want to be. Don't focus on what you want to accomplish, but why you want to accomplish it. Do not aspire to just have a job or a career. Aspire to make a difference. Use everything that you have learned and will learn. Respond to those things with creativity, with professionalism and determination. Take the reality that you have been handed this year and change it for the better. The South University class of 2020 must not be defined by what you have lost to a virus, nor be intimidated by the future, because you will be remembered for how you responded to everything that came your way, and you still thrived. A world of opportunity is yours now, and I can't wait to see what you will make of it. You know, every generation writes a story what will your story be? Perhaps you will turn adversity to advantage as you make a difference in our world. As you continue to write your story, act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly. Congratulations, graduates, to the class of 2020. I'm so proud to witness the start of your next journey. Thank you, Dr. Yoho, for your wonderful advice on our graduates and insightful words. We are now ready for the part that we've all been waiting for, for the confirming of degrees for our graduates. Therefore, we welcome the believers, the faithful, and the non-believers who had to see it to believe it. The students graduating today represent the best that we have to offer at South University. 
They have met all the requirements in their respective departments and have been approved by faculty at this moment. Today, our graduates represent a full scale of the university degree programs, including graduates from the doctorate program, the master's program, the bachelor's, and the associate degree programs. Each individual will be recognized on your screen. Please join me in celebrating everyone's accomplishment. For the College of Nursing and Public Health students, we have earned one of the following degrees. Masters of Science in Nursing, Adult Geriatology, Primary Care Nurse Practitioner. Master of Science in Nursing, Family Nurse Practitioner. RN to Masters of Science in Nursing. Postgraduate Certificate. Adult Gerontology Primary Care Nurse Practitioner, Postgraduate Certificate Family Nurse Practitioner, Postgraduate Certificate Nurse Administrator, Postgraduate Certificate Nurse Educator, and Postgraduate Certificate Nurse Informatics. As the Academic Dean of South University Online Program and on behalf of our faculty members, I am proud to hereby certify that these students have fully completed all the requirements are to confirm to graduate. Graduates, are you ready? Adora Nwokti. Adria Santana. Adrian Roberts, High Honors. Alexandra Quinones. Alicia Marshall, Honors. Alicia Melvin. 2020 master's degree, family nurse practitioner. Thank you, South University. Thank you, family. Thank you, Jesus. Satoria, this one's for you. I love you. Alina Pohl. Amanda Scott. Amanda K. Patterson. Amber Parks, High Honors. Amber D. Smith Jones. Amy Reynolds. Amy G. Morgan, Honors. Angela O'Neill. Angie Shamo, High Honors. Anne Marie O'Shaw. Anne M. Pratt, Honors. April McCluster. Shout out to South University. Thank you, fam. I love you guys. Robert, Kaysen, and Nevia, and to my church family. Thank you for always being there. Ashley May. Ashley Salzano. Ashley Thomas. Ashley B. Wood. Ashley M. Zybarth. Ashley R. Steyer. Ashley T. West. Ashton R. Zaricki, High Honors. Barbara Y. Ortiz Gonzalez, Honors. Beatrice G. Onquari. Belinda Manuel, Honors. Graduating class of 2020, we made it. Congratulations. 
Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Bernard D. J. Warperton Honors Bindamol A. Sukumar Brian L. Masters Brittany W. Smith Honors Brittany McNeil Brittany H. Pressler Honors Brian N. Neba Caitlin Rager Honors Caitlin J. White Candace R. Musgrove Candace T. Teat High Honors Candace D. Robinson Carmen I. Perez Caroline N. Marchi Caroline W. Nettles High Honors Harry Park Casey Runkle Catherine Thomas High Honors Chabelli Perez Cherry A. McPherson Chen Wenwa on Wabiko High Honors Christy T. Solkowski High Honors Christina McFarlane Just want to say thank you so much to my family and friends who have been so supportive of me throughout this whole process and getting my master's degree. I'm looking forward to serving my community as a family nurse practitioner. Christina L. Shovik. Christina R. Phillips Christina V. Turner Christopher K. Scruggs Christopher S. Wiggins Honors Christy J. Raparip Clayton L. Peck Courtney Reed Courtney N. Richardson Christina Rios Crystal Patel Crystal Simpson Honors Crystal C. Sipes High Honors Dakota Miller Dana L. Martin Danya A. Perez Daniel Masarang Honors Dara Merritt Darcy D. White Dawn M. Mogul Donna M. Scipio High Honors Deanna Z. Michaud Delicia Swilly Honors Dina D. Newton Denicia K. Mount 
Devin Snedeker, Honors. Dilia Selkanen, High Honors. Dominique Moreno. Thank you to God, my husband, my family, mom and dad, and all my friends for their loving support throughout my education. Thank you to the school faculty. NP, class of 2020, we did it. Edith Ojanimi. Elizabeth A. Proenza. Eliza Otero. Elizabeth J. Rayner, Honors. Emily G. Willis. Erin Williams. Ernesto Barrero. Eugenia A. Storms. Faith L. Pletcher Francis L. Yantis Trying to thank my family for their support and encouragement for me to do this journey. Thank you so much. I love my family and thank you, Lord, for letting me make this journey. Francis Santos Rios Honors Fred P. Stewart Gabrielle R. Markham, High Honors. Gavin Roach, High Honors. Gayatri Moldeo, High Honors. Casey Roca. Geraldo Oliveira, High Honors. Giselle Ochoa, Honors. Greg Maluska. Haley Taruno, Honors. Hannah McCall. Harold Plancher. Haley J. Pickett, Honors. Haley W. McKesson, High Honors. Heather Waleski, Honors. Heather Winkler. Heather G. Pickle. Heather R. Thompson Helen Stone Thank you to my wonderful family who stood by me through this journey. My mom, my sons, and my amazing boyfriend Chuck. I am now a family of our district. Henry Rivera Hillary L. Templeton, High Honors. Ibis Reyes Soto, High Honors. Ignacia A. Quirino. India B. Richardson. Jacqueline Spence Thompson. Jamika R. Monroe. Uh-oh. My daughter coming in. MP, MP, MP. Go to Mika, let me see. James C. Todd. Jamie Williams. Jameson Reese. 
Janet K. Ongechi. Janice Ryum. Jenna A. Toruno Keynes. Jeanette Satterley. Jared I. Rodriguez. Giselle Marin. Jenna Prest. Jennifer McNeil. Jennifer McQuery. Jennifer Sutherland. Jennifer Wood. Jennifer L. Pereno. Jennifer L. Wakus. Jenny Y. Watson. Jeremy Morris. Jurlis Suarez Lopez. Jessica B. Smith. Jessica D. Tomko Honors. Jessica M. Ruby. Jessica P. Squeabro Pierce. High Honors. Jessica R. McNeil. Joda K. Picard, High Honors. John Vincent. John K. Painter, Honors. Jonathan Terran. Jonathan Torres Paban. Jonathan D. Roland, High Honors. Jonathan R. Rabusa, Honors. Joni McCoy, High Honors. Jorge E. Perez Acosta. Joshua P. Thompson, High Honors. Joyce A. Shelton. Judy A. Madison. Through this journey of F and I want to thank my friends and family, and of course God. Thank you very much. Juliana Rippy. Junior Torres Kiala. Honors Kaylee Wickens Cami T. Seifert, High Honors Carla Nieves Pravat Catherine Watts Kathleen A. Shelton Katie M. Shea. Katie S. Woods. Katie Redfield Marino, Honors. Kayanne McLeod. Kayla S. Stevens. Kaylee C. Williams. Kelly Soria. K. 
Kelly D. White, High Honors. Kelly E. Matthews. Kenneth Sawyer. Kareem E. Price, Honors. Kimberly Ross. Kimberly A. Stefanski. Katso Solanyanu. Crystal L. Settle. Kristen Mason. Kristen A. Nutter. Christina L. Riho Honors. Christy R. McKinney. Krita Coppin V. Patel. Laura D. Sudik Honors. Laura L. Nelson Johnson. Laura L. Samuel, Honors. Lauren Yana Lunas. Lori Tacey. Leslie A. Miley. Letitia Mora. Lindsay Wood. Lindsay N. McInnes, Honors. Lenu Stephen, High Honors. Lisa Richards. Lisa Sikorsky. Lisa F. Schneider, High Honors. Lisa M. Schaub. Lisa R. Spurrow. Lois A. Rampersod. Lori A. Welch. Lori E. Redderath. Loria M. Rice, High Honors. Hello, everybody. My name is Laura Rice. My dream of becoming a nurse practitioner began right here on these steps of my front porch more than two years ago. Luis D. Valdez Castillo, High Honors. Lila M. Smith. Honors. Melissa A. Richter. Honors. Mara Wilson. Congratulations to me, a new family nurse practitioner as of 427, 2020. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Marsha Murphy. Merica Thomas. Mark Vidal. Mary A. Worley Honors. Mary E. Stovall. Mary J. Watterson. Michelle Sanders Megan D. Page Megan S. Sullivan, Honors Melissa Miller Thewis, High Honors Melissa L. McElhaney, High Honors 
Michael Reddy. Michael Walker. Milagros Morales. Milka in Mabugua. I'd like to thank my family and friends. It was tough, but with God's guidance, I made it. Thank you. Muriel Victor Honors. Marianda Nadapzo. Yay, class of 2020, I just want to thank God, my husband, my children, my family, my friends, the staff of South University, especially my academic advisor, James Maglossin, you are the best. Misty L. McGough, high honors. Mohammed L. Rahman. Monica Roberts. Monica Rodriguez. Monica D. Pope, high honors. Morgan Smith. Moya Tally. Nadiasli M. Santiano Cuesta, high honors. Nadine Naliero Chowdhury, High Honors. Nadine Taylor. Nadidi J. Salami, Honors. Nicola S. Table. Nicole Retta. Nicole Shoup, Honors. Nicole H. Reed. Olga M. Nicholas, High Honors. Paula A. Reynolds, Honors. Paul Sanford. Huang V. Tran. Rachel Ouellette, High Honors. Rachel E. Paternoster. Rachel E. Price. Rachel O. Taylor McLeod. I want to say thank you to my parents, thank you to my husband, Sean, thank you to my brother, um, thank you to my friends, and last but not least, thank you to my in-laws. Without any of you guys, none of this would have been possible. Thank you to you all, and I love you very, very much. Raquel Rodriguez Honors. Raquel Wall. Reina Mike. Rebecca Ratliff. Rebecca B. Veros, High Honors. Rebecca L. Wood, High Honors. Regina W. Robertson. To God be the glory. Rivard Safo, High Honors. Rihanna Perez. Robert Yarbrough. Robert J. Veros, High Honors. Robin D. McKinney. Rhodesia A. Woodson. Rodilio D. Madruga, High Honors. 
Rhonda K. McKinney. Rosalyn Mapofu. Roxanne Young. First of all, I want to thank God. I wouldn't be here without him. I want to thank my friends, my families, my puppy for being here during this time. Shout out to class of 2020. I wish you guys the very best. Ryan E. Waugh. Sabrina L. Royal Honors. Saida Sultana Honors. Samantha Powers. Samantha E. Smith. Sarah M. McLean, High Honors. Sarah J. Von Francius, Honors. Sarah M. Singh. I'd like to thank Christ Jesus, my Lord and Savior, my family and friends for your love and prayers, and my loving husband for your support. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Sarai Whittington. Sina Yahaya, High Honors. Shannon M. Smith. Sheila D. Wakus. Shelby Whiteside. Chilpobin K. Patel. Sonia Rouleau. Sophia Padron. Sophie Ohidi. Stacy M. Youngblood. Stacy Martin. Stella Thomas Honors. Stephanie Turner Honors. Stephanie Wombach. Stephanie A. Moore. Sumer S. Powell. Summer B. Reedy. Sunyi D. Maka, High Honors. Susan J. Montford. Tamekia Reese. Tanisha B. Simmons. Taylor Parker. Taylor N. Thompson, High Honors. Teresa Z. Posadas. Tatiana Rodov, Honors. Tiffany Weeks. Tina Morgan. Taniel Rodriguez, Honors. Tashua D. Rowe. Trishana Sewell. Trevor Spence. Tyra Prout. Yuguchi K. Azarumba. Ujunwa J. Naji. Valencia Valsius. Vanessa K. Richards Clark. 
Vera Rastrelli. Victoria Odomalam, honors. I just want to thank God and my family for their support. I am now a nurse practitioner to God be all the glory of who. Victoria S. Wakus, high honors. Vivi Gwynn. Willeen A. Roy, honors. Yamli Valdez, honors. Yehan Ortega. Yenixis Martinez Castillo. Yazel Nira Fayardo, high honors. Elena M. Navitsky. Yoandres Rosales. Zakia A. Swabi, 